Hi Virgo, it's L here to do your mid-December general reading. So it's a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every Virgo, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Keep in mind, extended readings, the link is below. $1.75 gets you an extended reading if you feel like it resonates. Alright, so let's get into it. Took the liberty of pulling the cards already. It looks like Virgo or somebody you're dealing with. You do the signs. I'm not going to name signs. It just seems like Virgo made a clear and logical, a rational decision or, or mustered up the strength in regards to how they felt and how they rationalized a situation. They mustered up the strength to walk away from or abandon one position. Either physically walk away or they emotionally have completely checked out. Because they're the reason why Virgo walked away is reasoning that only Virgo would know you have to be close to the situation. But they have gained strength to walk away physically or emotionally, mentally, whatever. wanting or has started anew or wanting to start anew and start over and go in a new new path a new development but is not moving so quickly this could be just in Virgo's emotion I have the emotion I know that I need to this makes sense logically rationally emotionally to check out to abandon one path go a new direction a new development where I do not know where it will end but to start over is what I know I should do rationally but I'm doing nothing right now. It's almost like you're in a self-purgatory or a place of um, of beating yourself up or beating up on self or doing nothing because you have seen or have realized a new perspective about a person that you are in separation with. You see them in a different manner. You see a situation in a different manner. This could be work. This could be romantic. It looks like love. And so you put yourself in a place of holding and of doing nothing, being stagnant. Also, a beating up of, of yourself because you felt like or you feel like you have made a wrong decision or you feel like a decision or staying emotionally confused, having analysis paralysis put you in a place of losing the one you really love or you're in fear of you trying to gain control of emotion in regards to the one that you really love 
you may be in fear that they are offering their cup of love to you fill in the blank or they'll have opportunity to offer their cup of love to because you did not choose wisely or you have not chosen at all and this particular person or entity because it could be job related it could be family it could be anything um they they you may be even fear that they're, they're offering their cup elsewhere you kept options open too long for some of you okay now this can be vice versa somebody did this to you Virgo and you are now experiencing new love or having opportunity to offer your cup to whatever or whomever else what else can you tell Virgo in this situation okay the seven of swords these just flipped and fell out the chariot and the two of pentacle what else can you tell Virgo this is the advice the chariot governs the sevens it's about honing in that energy of good and bad light and dark uh, negative and positive the sun and then the moon you know two very polar opposites but getting in control of them and having victory over this says Virgo your plan needs to be revised you need to write the vision and make it plain uh, you need to make a plan of action to get in control of this might be this might have to be a secret plan of action in regards to what you know is best for you or your path intuitively in regards to two very real options there's an inner knowing of what's best for you but once again analysis paralysis the weighing of the pros and the cons the juggling of a situation this could even be somebody trying to maintain or getting control of two situations, two jobs, two relationships, two families. But the advice is to take control, whatever that may look like. Okay. Wow. Ace of Swords have the new start the new beginning only by way of communicating effectively a divisive decision a cutting away of whatever it is you need to cut away the only way you this is communicating communicate clearly you have not a thought goes into action 
the sword, the wand, the cup, and then the pentacle, the manifestation of the tangible, the physical. Go through the motion of getting what it is you want. Let's see. Ace of Swords. Okay, we've got several cards that fell out. I'm not going to take any of them, but I'm just going to pick them up. Put them back in the deck. And if they come out again, we'll deal with those. Okay, where are we? Ten minutes? Okay, we got to get out of here. Okay. This is definitely six, two a strength to put in work on self work on self projects work into self improvement work on self esteem self confidence that was for somebody um this is also You have to be clear in communicating to me. I don't, I'm not going to get into signs. You see the signs here, air, water, everybody's here, right? Um, no fire. Wow, Virgo, no action. Then I said it's just a lot of wanting, thinking. That's it. You have to. Communicate clearly. With whomever. Or whatever. About the dividing of your time. Or your energy. Or you have to flip that. You have to communicate clearly with another person. About how they are dividing their time. Their energy. How they are giving to two, to a pentacle, two situations. One situation or person, you guys do that, you, you know what it is. Um, that they have put on a pedestal who in their mind or this is you Virgo in their mind it is <coughs> excuse me is above the wife or husband he or she is the Empress. I feel like I'm talking to. It could be either or though. Male Virgo. Female Virgo. Whoever. The advice here for Virgo. Is you're going to have to sever ties with. One or two parties. You also could just monetarily owe money to something or someone to the mother of your children or child or something of that somebody of that manner or vice versa um you're gonna have to sever ties with you given to two parties see up here you want to you want to but i do nothing i just daydream about doing it devise a plan of action and move okay one more and then we're what <laughs> the high priestess you intuitively instinctually know what's best for you 
you intuitively instinctually know that someone will always be given to two parties you intuitively instinctually know that this other person has you as a second party or Virgo you know you have a second party that you may have to sever ties with or you're severing ties it doesn't say who you're severing ties with. You you know that. You know who you want. You know what you want. We're going to go over to the website and open this up. Let's get a potential outcome. If you're dealing with a Virgo and they have you and someone else or vice versa. Virgo, you're dealing with someone and they have you and someone else. This is it. Get in where you fit in. Somebody wants to walk away can't do so if you want to have longevity in a relationship where you can do almost whatever it is you want to do and your partner never leave get with a cancer or a virgo and it's so sad because people take virgo cancer for granted because of their their ability to coexist and thrive in the midst of negativity they can be in a negative situation and still thrive and still you know um, the best way I can use is thrive they can still keep going there are other signs where if you put them in a situation like this um they will completely first of all they, they might run first you know they'll stay a while then they run or they they'll completely go crazy um okay so girls know yourself and know what you know that you can take a lot from a person and that sometimes you're like an infirmary you attract the sick uh, if you know that, then you'll be a little bit more cautious of your energy and your time. And then you'll also be a little bit more hasty in walking away from situations that just are not benefiting you. Okay? Alright, so. It's up to you. Come on, Virgo. It's up to you. Listen to your intuition. Instinct, instinctually, intuitively. No. Listen to your intuition. Oop, got two. Oh, I wanted one. Got a yes answer. That's always good, right? And if you believe, this is completely on you, Virgo. This whole reading. It's on you. It's up to you. If you believe, listen to your intuition. No one else's. All right meet me over on the other side this is a really good one for a virgo i hope that the outcome has some fire cards some action some movement uh, virgo can break the chains of it also this is standing up. i'm here standing up for yourself okay anyhow virgo this is the last reading of the year uh let's make it a good one let's go out with a bang um whoever has the the most extended readings i'm going to do two more readings this month uh for that sign so let your your sign uh be the sign that wins okay and i'm going to announce that uh on the 28th okay and um what else what else Always know that the extended reading is $1.75 below. Click the link, okay? Um, happy holidays. C continue to stay in prayer. Virgo, I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.